Hey everybody, it is Monday afternoon. Uh, we just got done striking this. This is our first piece of alfalfa for the rocks. Our first anything that we cut this year. Devin's got the cutter all in good shape and stuff. New knife, new sickle. Oh, duh. New guards, new hold down clips. Uh, this is, you know, about the width of the windrow. Um, we check, go ahead and check the, uh, the amount of crimps we're making on this stuff. One. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. One. Squish the hell out of there. Two. Three. We got the, uh, we got the rollers pretty tight. Um, like I said, I hope you guys can see it, guys. I, uh, I'm pretty new at this deal here, but anyway, we're going to jump in the track, in the tractor, in my cutter, my Case IH WD-1203, or my baby, the love of my life, as I like to call her. So, you and I, and the love of my life, we're going to go whack off some alfalfa. All right, guys, let's go. guys uh, I cut, made a few videos of this last year I don't know if any of you guys have seen it uh, this is my cutter she has 1300 hours on her 1340 oh uh, yeah I just got done like I say cutting her outside edge rounds I should say we do that so we don't so we uh, turn around with the rake the B rake um, this is nice alfalfa over there is where I planted some this spring and it's not looking so just wonderful or not the biggest stuff with the thing with this alfalfa is uh, it's lodged and when it's lodged it's the shits but anyway we'll do whatever when it's lodged it means there's a lot of stuff there but it got away on us last uh, Thursday Friday and Saturday we worked groups of calves and hauled them out and worked, you know, but man, it was just a rat race. I, I meant to get a bunch of videos and I got nothing. I did have one and then I deleted it accidentally. So yeah, shame on me, I, I apologize for that. Uh, like I said, this alfalfa is uh, lodged. Um, well, not bad, I'm not in a race. Uh, you're wondering probably why we leave that much. Well, it's for regrowth, and like I said, it's lodged. Now, it isn't that I can't go get it. I can tilt my head down, and I can shave this ground, but I really see no use in it. So what I do is, I just kind of slow up a little bit. Like I said, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. We're just getting started. This stuff is probably, I don't know, what do you guys think, uh, 20? 20% boomed out, something like that. But it's lodging, so it's as good as it's, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we have 260 acres to get cut down. See, I mean, it looks like we missed, and we did. I could shave that, but I really see no need in it. Um, it is what it is. Everybody's different. Devin is spraying corn for the last time today the last uh, well not a little bit um, he's over spraying 75 acres right now and uh, then he's gonna come back and spray my 60 acres and then he's done spraying that for a little bit and he'll have to uh, rinse out and um, start spraying forage oats and miller with uh, wide match so that's how that's going Anyway, it's uh, busy. This morning we ran to Linton and got some parts. Yeah, I was working on the baler and it, it needed a few things, nothing serious. Uh, everything worked out pretty dang good, actually. He put a new, uh, all new chain on and stuff. But yeah, we ran to Linton and did that. Stopped at the vet, did that. And then I met a guy, I bought a, uh, a 
uh, Semitol bull from uh, earlier this spring I put up a video of him but anyway we he dropped we, we met at his place in Linton and he dropped him off uh, other than that I am so relieved that the cattle are out they were getting to be a giant pain in the ass can't remember last time we didn't have to feed something I still have a I still have uh, 23 pair just to move to pastures that are really close just that right now like I said um, I gave them a bale and we still have some silage so that's what they got they got right now coming up Wednesday Devin 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 will bring, be bringing 10 bulls up to the vet to get checked semen tested and get their shots get poured la da da He'll take five at a time. We won't turn them out, obviously. We're just gonna load them up and get it done. It's a long day. I will not be partaking in it. I uh, I don't like going, I'll be flat out honest with you. Um, I don't like, no matter where you're sitting or standing or whatever, when I hear them bulls bell, I think, man, that just can't be any good, you know? So I don't go. Gavin does it, he don't have a problem with it. I'll be cutting some alfalfa. Um, hopefully today is Monday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday it'll lay. Thursday we'll rake it. Friday we'll bale it, hopefully. Um, we cranked the crimpers down on it. Uh, we're pretty cranked. Uh, we could get a little tighter. But like I said, we are uh, we're crimping three and four in spots. But this is, uh, this is only the second time this field's ever been cut right here I cut it last fall with new seeding so this is the first time on it it's great but you can tell we're, we're late with it um, even though we've had two inches of rain well, I guess it was last week which would have mattered uh, see all the yellow leaves and uh, them are all leaves that obviously we're not gonna get they dried up they blow away poof they're gone but anyway, I probably babbled on long enough. I just uh, thought I'd uh, give you guys the view of uh, what me and the love, love of my life are doing here with this um, cut a little hay down. Uh, I've had a self-propelled disc, or not disc, excuse me, conditioner mower for, we bought our first one in 98. So I guess 21 years. It was a 8400 Heston, and we used the living crap out of it. And then I bought a big mistake, I bought a cat. And you think that wouldn't matter, because this thing basically is what it is. Uh, anyway, I this is a third year on it. Obviously last year I showed you up, I didn't show you any hay in videos, just uh, cut notes and stuff. It's not a disc buying. I, uh, there's so many different, I mean, in, the, in a, the ideal world, I'd have one of each. But uh, thank goodness I can kind of afford to have one. But anyway, on uh, disc binds are better at certain things, obviously. I'm not gonna sit here and defend this, but I will say in a, uh, oh, in a heavy crop like this, a disc bind would go zippity da, just not even flinch. But you get into some thinner stuff and you get into some stuff that's lodged and down and just a nightmare and a different then this is a little better now this happens to have an 18 and a half foot head on it I don't know I love it for hay and shit it wouldn't have to be that wide for alfalfa but it, you know what do you do but I thought I had a deal going on a guy down here that's got pivots alfalfa he called and he wanted us to come down and help him cut his first cutting but he didn't want the 18 foot head and he didn't want us to just cut with 15 and overload one side and I don't blame him but I did get back to him told him that if uh, if he needed uh, well, sign me a little contract or any damn thing a handshake for 500 acres a year and I said I'll have a disc bind sitting here the next time you're ready to cut this stuff but anyway, yeah, that's kind of what's going on today. I hope the view is all right. 
I don't know if I got this thing set right or not. But yeah, this week's gonna be a busy week. We are, like I said, I'm gonna be running the cutter until, well, whatever. Uh, we got two other farms that, all oh, eight, 10 miles away that got dumped on by rain where we didn't get much, so they're gonna be a little wet. But I got, uh, I got a couple days here first, so. Anyway, everybody have a great day. Take care. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be back out, or glad, yeah, glad to be back out cutting. Uh, help, help, help. Um, catch you guys later, man. Everybody have a good day.